Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 109.7 The Fox. We got Metallica coming up, and then we're coming in you with a little new artist that you've probably never heard of. It's Incubus, baby. Megalomaniac right here up deck on 107.9 The Fox. The Fox! Oh, God! Why don't you do the intro? We're doing a little retrospective and reckoning. Why don't we switch it up? I don't know the intro, so I'm not doing the intro. Good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to Architects of Lore. The one and only weekly podcast where two. I did not come up with another adjective this week, and my brain isn't firing because I'm super pissed off. Two pissed off cousins sit around and discuss the age old art of storytelling. And at the end, we're not going to do sh- because this is a review, and Devin. It's also a reckoning. But I'm your host, Zach, aka Z Town TV. Yes, I am wearing a backwards cap. Yes, I do have a ni- new <laughs> microphone. We'll get into it later. That's my co host, slash co cousin, Devin, aka Devo City. Devin, fine shirt, fine flamingos, fine face. How you doing tonight? I feel bad because I'm not pissed off. I'm in a great mood. So I don't know if. I don't know. I can um, get you, I can get you mad. I don't I think you can. Real quick. Real I don't quick. think you can, man. I'm doing pretty well today. Fantastic. If you can't tell by the shirt, I played some golf. So, pretty fantastic. I'm going to guess, because you're in a fantastic mood, that one, you didn't play with a certain someone, Ryan. And you also <laughs> shot really well. So... I did not shoot really well at all. To be exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I played the par 3 today. I played the par 3 yesterday. I was plus 6 yesterday, plus 14 today. So, no, not great golf, but, you know. And yet you're in a good mood. You should have plus 14, and you're in a good mood. Well, I'll tell you why. It was a long wait at each hole, and I just Mm -hmm. broke out my Amazon Prime and watched Fast X on the bench. So, Are you serious? Yeah. Dom Toretto, pump me up. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, if there's one thing that this podcast is known for, folks, it's family. And you can't fam- turn your back I mean, we literally are family. family. Well, I mean, the blood work hasn't come in yet. So, we look identical. grew up family. <laughs> Actually related? Who knows? Sometimes I think that I've been adopted. I was going to say, that, if I mean, anyone my brother looks like told across me, it, over here. Come on, bud. I feel like I'm staring at my grandfather, and it's just weird. Weird, folks. Let's throw a picture on screen of Grandpa. We go. <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has one. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to, like, take a picture of a picture and then put it on yeah. there. But... Also, I feel like you need to get permission from all of his living sons for that to no. be on the internet. No, you Yeah, don't. you're right. He's our grandfather. We can put him up if we want. He actually does have one picture online, and he looking good at it. But okay, yeah. okay, all right. Well, I'm glad you're in a good mood because normally when you go play golf and you shoot shitty, you're in a terrible mood. I know. Audience. You want to know why I'm in a good mood? And it's all thanks to my mom. She was a lifesaver. She came out here and she, we did some spring cleaning. She was in between conferences, one in California, one in Nevada, and she spent the long weekend with me, and we. We cleared out so much crap out of this hoarder's nest that I've been building. And I am just, I felt like the walls were coming in on me a little bit. And we That's just fair. cleaned it all out. It's, I got new storage next to my next to my desk. You can't see it, but it's there. A ton of storage. Well, you can tilt the camera down. Me. You can tilt no. the camera down. Right. Look at that. Look how far I can go back now. There used to oh be my God. Back. Did you see that, folks? You got to get on YouTube TV. Slash Architects of Lore. No, just I think YouTube. it's just YouTube.com. I don't think we're on YouTube Slash TV Architects yet. of Lore to see how far Devin can go back. It's pretty far. Pretty far back. Oh, oh my God. Okay. My closet. I got rid of all these clothes that I've just been holding on. I got rid of a bag full of sneakers that were all broken. Like, were why were Jordans? Uh, yeah, and I couldn't get rid of them. Mm-hmm. But I'm not a cobbler. Like, did I think I could not fix a cobbler. these? No. 
I don't you even know can. a cobbler. I don't think cobblers exist anymore. Yeah, they do, because I did take some boots to a cobbler once. I don't know them, personally. Um, yeah, but was it in a forest? Was it a very small person? No, it was in a strip mall. But um, <laughs> but then... Wait, well, no, no, no. What's the... So, cobblers... No, there's three jobs that elves can have. The yeah, cobblers. but the, the cobblers are regular-sized people that are drunks, and then the elves come in and do their work, right? Yeah, you do the work for the drunk cobbler. Yeah, you okay. make I think I read that in a book that I read Lulu at one point. <laughs> you can... Would you read her elf? Yeah. Because it's from elf. You can make trees and a cookie, or you got what everyone calls the show, making presents for Santa. Come on. Why do you know that off movie. the top of your head? Loralist movie. Audience, really hope that you got last week's movie movie game question. Oh, but hold on, yeah. It was a callback. But oh, yeah. I just want to shout noticed. out, thank you, Mom, for the help. Yeah, just to finish that, you know. Yes, thank Put you, in. Devin's mother. I don't think we've ever said your name I on the podcast. I think you can call her Aunt Susan. <laughs> okay, I mean, you said it first. Well, so she's my she mom, didn't... so, I mean, it'd be rude if I just called her Susan. But, yeah, that is her well, name. Well, in case she didn't want her name out there associated with our product of a podcast, I don't know. I haven't had a discussion with her about it. But I know that she's a big supporter. And I appreciate her putting my co-host in a good mood because it really makes the show better when Devin's in a good mood. Because then and I'm in a good mood. Pretty and then I also friendly. tried you to... went under ten times on swearing last Five! Time. Five times! If Pat you don't two. count titties, yeah. it's five. Yeah. But No, you don't count titties. I haven't sworn yet. Yes, this you did. You swore immediately. Wait, no, but were we recording? Because I yes, had some technical issues you did issues it in the earlier. intro. You did no it in the intro. You did no. it in the intro. No, I did it. Yeah. Well, we've just been demonetized on YouTube. That one's on me. So you're gonna. Have no, to I'm gonna have to put one. a long ass clip in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. What is it? One minute, and then we're good. I think so. I so. <laughs> but folks, as you can see, you can see my face. Here we go. Some might say, Zach, did you get a new microphone? Those people would be wrong. This is a microphone I used last year that had horrible buzzing. I threw it against a wall, and then it's been in my closet. But today, through no fault of my own, the equipment that I have been using just decided not to work, even though I changed literally zero settings. I was so mad that I pulled out this piece of shit C1U microphone, and I plugged it in just to see what happens. And guess what? It works. (laughs) I've been using mine for like a decade, and it still works. It's possible. That me throwing this against the wall fixed it. Yeah, maybe. It's also possible that in the middle of this episode, my voice just cuts out. I storm off the podcast, and you never see me again. <laughs> we didn't take that chance. <laughs> then it's Architect of Lore. <laughs> Architect of Lore with Devo City. And guess what? The views will probably skyrocket at this point. <laughs> I'm the one holding you back, Devin. Obviously. So, have you been golfing? I think sometimes Devin doesn't know how to treat me on this show because I get into a weird space and he just tries to get out. Push of on through. Just push on talks. through. That's what I am do. not acknowledging keep, what you said. Let's just move just it. Keep on. the show moving. <laughs> I did not get any golfing in. It has been too cold except for the past couple of days. Um, and unfortunately, I was talking to a, a coworker of mine today. I'm going to need, so what we're doing is that, I know we have a lot of fundraisers going on, people. But we're going to start another one. And it's Zach buys 10 acres and builds an all-season golf range in Syracuse, New York. You can find that at ZachBuysArange.com. What do you need 10 acres for if you're going to go a range? Because I want an all-season golf range. I can't believe I go all winter without having to get to the range. I'll build a dome, okay? You're going to build a dome? At least for, like, the winter portion, maybe out to 200, so you can just keep your wedges and your irons dialed. They had like, that, and it didn't work. <laughs> I know. Listen, <laughs> are we going to run in the red every year? Probably. But this is for like, me, Like, I'm people. just saying they it's tried, and it didn't work. But now I'm doing it. And I'm going to serve. Does Turning Stone have a dome? Uh, yeah, but I'm not driving to Turning Stone. I'm going to serve So you're going to compete with Turning Stone? I could take them down, Devin. <laughs> We're serving alcohol. We're serving legal cannabis. We got a hangout. You can't do area. that in the same location. 
I didn't, I didn't look up the laws yet. Don't worry about it. But there's going to be a flat screen TV. One's going to be playing YouTube golfers. So we'll get licensing rights. Another one's going to be playing PGA Tour stuff. Also still need licensing rights. But the middle screen, just every episode of Architects of Lore. Over. I, I like over, that. Over again. It's good. There's only cool, three screens in this 10-acre dome? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's How a full bays? wet. There's a full wet bar. There's 27 bays in the dome. Outside 27. the dome, we got 58 more bays. And that's where you can blast your driver out to 400. You can hit 400. You can hit out there. And we're going all the way back. 400 yards, baby. We're going to mow it down. It's going to look nice. We're going to have targets that you can go to. Because you want to hit it within five feet, right, Devin? You got to yeah, have Why don't targets. you just build, like, a really big top golf, and then you just – have like heating things so like it could all the snow just melts and then you have a drainage system under the thing so you ha- both collect the balls and the water these are good then you ideas. don't have to have a dome let's talk you off just, screen we'll also talk about funding and roi like you could just have a heated bay multiple stories yeah. uh-huh and then your your system your 400 yard system that melts snow and retrieves balls and, but uh, you're gonna have to have 400 yards of heated ground. You know how much money that costs to heat the fucking ground? Just use solar. No, 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 no. Okay. It's not heated ground. Everything is built. How are you going to keep it without getting snow on it? Everything is built 10 feet up. Okay. And it's, and it's got like a like basically a fence under it, right? Uh-huh. So all the snow falls up, down into the thing. Okay. It gets. And then you can push it with like a zamboni out of the back, yeah. And then you have a ball shoot too. I'm gonna need to see some diagrams. Let's I'm gonna draw something together. up because put something together. I, Let's I see. I, Here can, we go. I think I can figure this out for you without building a dome. Architects of Lore buys a range dot com. All right, Architect here we go. of Lore, architectural structure golf range. <laughs> I could be the architects. architect of the golf dome. Un, undome dome. <laughs> Leave down in the comments if you would visit that in Syracuse, New York, all year round. Family friendly space that serves alcohol. Why did they. Those exist, right? Those are like Applebee's. No, Applebee's I honestly alcohol, think and that's for insurance friendly. purposes, you should not have children under the age of like fair, 10. Fair. Someone gets hit with a – you don't want a toddler getting hit with a stray golf ball. Come yeah, on, Yeah, but you man. know, like, I want – if an 8-year-old wants to come in there and they're grinding, okay, and they want to well, work on their swing, I got to let them in. That's just that's Maybe just there can be a petition thing where it's like, okay, you got to see if you're serious. But if you're just coming okay. and you're, you're okay. like, looking for a free babysitter, no, that's not the place. That's dangerous. Yeah, we'll throw up a sign that says, no kids allowed unless you go – and you hit 20 balls in front of the starter, and then the starter's like, all right, you're good enough to play at the range. Okay? But you yeah. also have to have parent supervision. Exactly. And they also have to buy a bay. Even if they're not swinging, they got to buy another bay next to you. Because, you know. Oh, now you know it's I mean? individual bays? Individual. I don't want to top golf, you can have like a bay. thing. All right, okay. Okay, there's single bays for serious golfers. Then we got party bays. Party yeah, you got to have a have party. Have strobe bay. lights. Yeah. Okay. They I got mean, yeah. games. You can have we a got a flat screen that might, at each Because I'm assuming bay. you're going to get the land by the airport. It's the only place, really, with some cars. Absolutely. So I don't know about the strobe lights. That inter- might interfere with the drones and such. We could probably go a little bit north there, maybe towards Fairhaven. North there's a there? lot of land out there, northwest. Yeah, you know, there's a lot so of land. So now out you're there. not Nobody even in uses. Syracuse. You said you don't want to drive the turnings, though. Now you're going to drive an hour north? we got to rethink this. This is a dynamite plan, and you know it. This plan would make probably break even money at best, and I'm willing to take that chance. So come on with me on this journey. (laughs) Z-Town TV, (laughs) chance taker. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, So out of your fantasy and into reality, I actually did play golf this week twice. Why do you got to rub it in? uh, in? Well, unfortunately, there is only a week left for the par three there was a protest you're have a, you're i don't think it did off? anything what you're gonna have a send-off last day. i think there is gonna be a vigil on the third there might be something tomorrow i might have to go check that out you gotta um, be like one of the regulars right 
Like they got to know you at this point. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think the lady asked for my name today, so that's a plus. I saw Colin Hanks hitting a few balls there yesterday. Really? Yeah. What you about just... Chet? Nah, he wasn't there. If Chet was there, Chet I would have said there. something. But I like Colin. Yeah, you're more balls. like in this dynamic. You're the Chet, and I'm the Colin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Pretty fair. Yeah. But... One of us has tattoos. One of us does not. He's a pretty tall guy. He's lanky. He's got a lot of, a lot of distance Colin? he can get. Yeah. He, he might. Just another reason to be jealous of tall people. They can have just long distance without even trying. Yeah, but what if he has to buy extended length clubs? True. Then you can't just use hand-me-downs. That's, you know what? I don't think he has to worry about that. <laughs> I think he's got enough. I think he's got new clubs, Monty. All right, well, now it's time to get to everybody's second favorite part of this episode. And that's the... Wait, that might be the favorite part of this one. That's the... Movie, movie, game! Movie, movie, game. All right, well, Devin, last week's uh, question for the movie, movie game was... A genius youth teams up with his deceased brother's inflatable medbot, lovingly named Long... Duck, dong. Devin, that answer, of course, was. Throwback to Architects of Lore, lore list, Big Hero 16 Candles. Big Hero 6 and 16 Candles. That is correct, Devin. Where did Big Hero 6, without looking, fall on the lore list? I don't know, because I can't even study it, because you don't give me access. <laughs> <laughs> it was below Surf Ninjas, which may be changing on this show going to the Devin. top <laughs> let me let me uh i'm gonna go ahead and vet these questions so why don't you go ahead and give me my movie movie game question yeah you're gonna come up with a better round or loop i think if you don't say another again you say again i think if you don't say mm -hmm. again you can you can really trick them and then don't do the intro you know like just be like this you know just go and then you know, I just loop. I'll, I'll, you know. Right? Like, like I'll read it to you and it'll, it'll sound like a loop. Ready? Go ahead. Vicarious circus freaks descend from the stars and harvest humans with ludicrous speed to replenish their Schwartz. Vicarious circus freaks descend from their stars and harvest humans with ludicrous speeds to replenish their Schwartz. Vicarious. Now I'm just looping. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that. I don't know how to do a good loop. <laughs> Vicarious? What? I legitimately blacked out and didn't listen to that. Here's your movie movie game question. Say it like a normal person, not like Zach. Oh. Here's your movie movie game question. Ferocious circus freaks descend from the stars <laughs> and harvest humans with ludicrous speed to replenish their Schwartz. Here's your movie, movie, game question. I don't know. Is the second one space balls? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Still trying to do that loop. I don't think I did it. Voracious one. circus freaks descend from the stars to consume humans, right? That's the first yeah. part? Circus freaks. Mm-hmm. Ending with space. Stars. Circus freaks. Ending with space. Yeah. Who's in the circus? Clowns. Oh, <laughs> okay. Clowns from outer space? False. Well, what kind of clowns are they? They're not nice. Mean clown killer clowns from outer space balls? I've yeah. never heard of that. That's <laughs> a real go. movie. Killer yeah, clowns, killer from, clowns outer from outer space. Outer space. What year did that come out? 1988. That movie is older than both of us, Devin. That is not older than you. You should have seen it. <laughs> it's a perfect yeah. movie for a Me one as one-year-old needs to watch <laughs> The Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's a perfect movie for a one-year-old. All right. Give me my All question. Right. Spielberg motion captures the story of a young journalist and his faithful dog, Snowy, 
as they track down what the heck happened to a whip-slinging movie franchise in its disappointing fourth attempt. Spielberg motion captures the story of a young journalist and his faithful dog, Snowy, as they track down what the heck happened to a whip-slinging movie franchise in its disappointing fourth attempt. Spielberg motion... I mean, I'm in love. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. That's the second one, yes. Well, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but I get it, D. Come on. Um, and then uh, uh, I can picture it, but I'm going to need a clue. That's my hair. Uh, can I get a clue, please? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Very popular newspaper comic from the past. I don't think that helps you. Archie Indiana Jones. No. Um, it came out in 2011. Yep. I, I actually never saw this movie. I just know me neither. its name. Um, What's the name of it? You want me to just give you the name? All right. yes. It's The Adventures of Tintin. Ah, the adventures of Tintin, Deanna Jones, and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's it. Damn you got to get that like... one. And I don't know what our record is for this season to declare who won, but I think we all know the audience is the winner. <laughs> yeah, because they got all this amazing content. So you're welcome. Audience, Devin's going to read your movie, movie game question. Hold on. Can you read it? Game over, man. The xenomorphs are totally annihilating the space marines. Anthropomorphized feelings of joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear. All right. Game over, man. All right. Game over, man. The xenomorphs are totally annihilating the space marines. Anthropomorphized feelings. Anthropomorphized feelings of joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear. I don't like how many big words you made me read there. <laughs> I didn't read this one. Game I read over, it well man. The first time. We didn't have a movie to review this week because we're doing something special. The lore list reckoning. So this season, we started off our study by watching the other guys, Barbie. I love you, man, and stepbrothers for our feel-good comedies. So out of those four, the step, or out of those four stepbrothers was our highest at seven. Barbie Only at because of stupid shenanigans with the universe and rock paper scissors and Devin screen peeking, cheating. We all know it. We all know it. He had a little bit of delay. He saw me throw rocks. We could throw paper. We know it. We know that's what happened. It's a good movie. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> Call no, me I don't have specifically any problems with those four and where they are ranked. I think those are appropriate. Now, we may get a little flack from some people. I believe uh, somebody said the other guys was too high. At but 19? At 19, a little too high. I, I don't agree. I don't agree. I know, I mean, let's get into it. We have one very dedicated listener who very much thinks that a movie that we reviewed from a very long time ago that happened this year should be far higher on the list, and that's... Devin apparently owns the... The DVD. That is leap DVD. year, baby. <laughs> and I want to give. Blockbuster. <laughs> out of respect for this loyal listener who has been bringing it up for months and months and months, we will have the conversation now. Will leap year move up, especially in this hey leap year? <laughs> Nailed it. The answer is no. I don't know. <laughs> What it's, do you mean you don't know? <laughs> it's pretty adorable. And it's got the beautiful vistas of Ireland. That's like, the only thing the movie has going for it. It has emotional cheating, physical cheating. Everybody in that movie is they terrible. They the wars to, 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 to kiss. 
You know, it's not their fault. Okay. All right. How much higher would you legitimately think the leap year should go? Um, I'm not freeing the babysitter tapes. <laughs> scroll up a little bit if you don't mind there. I would put this right under Surf Ninjas at 30. It could make right. a big jump right now. You think Leap Year? Yeah. A movie that has no discernible plot. Uh huh. The best thing it has going for it is that it just filmed Ireland. Yep, you're not wrong. Is better than Big Hero 6, Wreck It Ralph, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, The Strangers, Hitch- Fine Hitchhikers. Okay. Gal- I think it's better this, than uh, the strangers. I, I could I could live at thirty three. I could live at thirty three. Right I will live at thirty three. I'll live. I, you know what? I will make this concession. We got to put the seventh seal above it. So, but the seventh seal is not better than Jumanji. Because I never got retweeted by The Rock about The Seventh Seal. If you're going to put Leap Year at 30, we'll put The Seventh Seal at 33 and Leap Year at 34. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. The Seventh Seal is far more cultural impact and is a better movie. Okay. But it has not been demanded by the architects, the lore architects. You're right. Leap Year has made a big jump, people, in the lore list reckoning for some reason. Through a compromise that the seventh seal has to be above it. It's crazy that two movies that were not even on the no. four that we just talked about no, made no. some moves on the lore list. Let's move on to the next four, and maybe we'll right. move For up the Babysitter Killer Queen. An adventure. <laughs> we had National Treasure, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Kid Who Would Be King, and the current number one, Lawrence of Arabia. I'm fine with Lawrence of Arabia being number one. I'm fine like with that Pirates being tied. I like Pirates at five. I like Pirates at five. I'm okay with National Treasure being above Surf Ninjas. It's a middle movie. What I movie. think, though, is that we need to do is we need to move this one down. It's not further terrible. Down. It's just not made for you. And so again, you can't. This move. This list is about me. No, it's not. You are just an interpreter of the lore list. Yeah, I am. I think I can. You're not the out. one nailing it down. <laughs> There's a divine intervention from the movie gods. The only thing keeping this movie not in last place is how awful Swiss Army Man, Night of the Living Dead, Gods of Egypt are. Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving is a cultural classic. It's still terrible. I mean, we saw it. It was like 20 minutes of pure torture. So. Then it seems like it's right in its place. I want it on the record that I wish I could push this further down. But you can't. But I can't. And that's why you were just a mere interpreter of the lore list. Fine. Let's move on to our animation. I know we got... Some we bangers got some, we in got here. some people asking about some ones on here and why they're so low. So let's get into it. So we went through and watched Shrek, Spirited Away, Big Hero 6, and The Lion King. People have been saying Shrek is, is pretty low at 17. Spirited Away, pretty high at 6. Big Hero 6, uh, I don't know where we put that one, but it's, it's I think it deserves its place at 30. You know? Society forgot about it, and so did we. And then but we Surf have... Ninjas is bad. <laughs> no, it's not, and you know that. Not. I will show the proof on TikTok of you liking that comment. Um, I didn't like it. Someone hacked my Twitter account or t- Tinder account. Nope, not even that one. Still TikTok account. <laughs> okay, guys. Up... Should... And then <laughs> wait, should we set up an Architects of Lore Tinder account? That's all you, bro. And then Multiple we got the Lions. <laughs> It's gorilla marketing. Which is pretty I'm high. Lion King's top ten, right? Lion King is, I think, four. Yes, Lion King is four. I'm happy with that. So I guess the big question here is, does Shrek deserve to be raised at least above Home Alone? Because that is really the contention right there. Well, I mean, if we're... 
I'm getting an interpretation from the divine. And okay. that's, you need to get your star rating up. And I think the only way we do that is if we move Shrek up. <laughs> We can't be having any three stars hanging out there. You know what I mean? Like, is it uh, better than Captain America: The Winter Soldier? Though I don't think so. No, it's not. It's literally it's not. can it go above Home Alone? Yes or no? And you, I know you've been having a family discussion about this. And has a consensus happened yet? No, there is no consensus. This, this is. If there's anything that's going to break up my immediate family, it might be Home Alone versus Shrek. So. Here's the one thing that I think Shrek has going for it above Home Alone. Rewatchability. It is a, a year-long movie. Home Alone, you have like two and a half, three months window where you can watch it. And maybe that's what makes it special. But there's so maybe many that's feels. What, like, there's so it many makes feels. people feel like it's Christmas time. Yeah. Well, you, can, you can watch Shrek every night of the week. What about this? We move Shrek above Home Alone until we get back to holiday season. And then we throw Home Alone above Shrek. We'll see. I don't know. I, I just interpret the list. I don't create. That's the divine intervention that I've been given. So during the year, Shrek is above Home Alone, but as soon as we hit Thanksgiving, boom, Home Alone back above Shrek. So there it is. Moves have been made. The top 10 remains the same. And what are those top 10, Zach? Well, we got Paddington, too, because I eh, am know. a good person who doesn't swear a lot. Also tied with that is number one is Lawrence of Arabia. The Shawshank Redemption at number two. Raiders of the Lost Ark at three. The Lion King at four. Pirates of the Caribbean at five. Spirit Away at six. If you haven't seen it, banger movie. Go watch it. Number seven, Step Brothers. Mostly on Devin is, uh, well, we all know, Dark Magic. You were doing great, like, just doing the top ten. And then something happened and you got off track. So why don't we run through that again and not why your commentary? Why are you always coming at Because I just wanted, I thought that was, ads. I was like, this is going to be a great talk. This is going to be a great talk. And then it's like, you know what? Now they're going to think we're being paid by Miyazaki to just throw Spirited Away a bone right now. Come on. Just give me a clean top ten, baby. Don't you come talking to me what a great tox, okay? You're long form, I'm short form. All right? All right. I'm trying to help you. Let me help you. All right. Our top ten on the lower list, obviously. Number one, Paddington 2. I'm a good person. Didn't swear too much last week. Number one, also tied Lawrence of Arabia. Number two, Shawshank Redemption. Number three, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Number four, The Lion King. Number five, Pirates of the Caribbean. Number six, Spirited Away. Number seven, Step Brothers. Number eight, Groundhog's Day. Number nine, The Matrix. And rounding out the top ten of the lower list is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. We snubbed Barbie again, didn't we? Wow. I feel bad about that one. <laughs> so, so, that is the yeah. lower list <laughs> reckoning. <laughs> So, we talked about the movies that we studied, Devin. Now it's time to get into the movies that we created. Because that's right, folks. Right here on your favorite podcast, Architects of Lore, we come up with original ideas every single Monday. Some of them are great. Some of them need to be thought out a little bit more. But that's what editing's for, and we can get there in the end. If you like a great idea, please make sure to email us at architectsofthelore.gmail.com and tell us, hey, that last episode, great idea. You guys should really invest in that one. And maybe a little positive momentum will get you something great. But, Devin, let's go over what 12 original ideas we came up with this season in our feel-good season. Studying the lore in the writer's Zoom. So we started off with our feel-good comedies, and we came up with Coachella at 40, Blimp RV, Cross Country with My Cousin and Tokyo Jam. So, should we go over what those movies were about? I mean, Coachella 40 is like the real life story about Zach going to Coachella. No, no. Year, no, year it is not. 40. I, <laughs> We've I already revealed your age on the episode. They know you're not 40. I will sue this podcast for libel. <laughs> I'll be suing myself. Yes. 
Coachella is a fictional tale about, about Jack. A, about Jack, who is a little bit in a rut as accountant in Chicago, and he goes and finds himself at the music festival Coachella, where he finds lifelong friendships and love and a new perspective on life. Yeah. Blimp RV is about a guy who wins the lottery and just connects an RV to a blimp and then picks up people along the way, like including like a runaway bride and an aspiring musician. And he goes on a journey and he has a chihuahua who has his own parachute. Yeah. It's in the title, folks. There's a blimp <laughs> it's on an RV. simple. Blimp <laughs> RV. And then we came up with our third idea, cross country with my cousin. And that is where two estranged cousins have to come together and drive their grandmother's old Subaru LeSabre up to Cleveland for the funeral. And along the way, they reconnect and find out that one cousin, super rich, and that's actually his car all along. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's a real car. But Buick LeSabre is a real car my mom used to drive. You said one. Subaru LeSabre. That may be true. Buick LeSabre. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> they, they crossed over for a it's special a fiction, version. It's a fictional universe where Subaru <laughs> and Buick crossed over with this labor model. Yeah. And we came up with Tokyo Jam, a buddy comedy where an American basketball player goes to Japan and befriends the team's social media manager, an unlikely pairing. And they learn about friendship along the way and do some Tokyo jams. A lot of our movies are based on friendships and the lessons we learned along the way. Because I haven't learned a lesson yet, and I'm 36 years old, and I'm still trying. Maybe I need to go on a At long road trip. At least you're trying. <laughs> yeah, when are you coming out? I thought you were coming out next month. And next I'm month coming out four days. in May 5th. You keep putting May 5th, really? I don't know. Come out a day earlier or two days earlier, we go to Star Wars Land for May the 4th. You know, come on. Gotta think <laughs> right. out. But then we got into feel good action adventure movies, and we came up with some pretty cool ideas. Devin, why don't you run down the list? Yeah, we had the Amber Room, Power Source, Burying the Debt, and The Darkness in the Forest. That last one, when it was coming up, because you put them up on the last episode. It is how it is unsettling how different that poster is from the rest of them <laughs> because it's just this is a horror movie. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking that day, but you know what? I was we got feel good action was... adventure that starts with the Amber Room, and that is this fictionalized, possibly real room from history. And we got a couple of Russian scientists teaming up with an American. To go find it, they get into a gulag. There's a helicopter chase. They eventually do find it. And then they got to stop the evil Americans from selling it off. Yeah. Then we got Power Source, which takes place on a fictional planet. And two uh, feuding moon colonies are going after a meteor that has a power source. And... Unbeknownst to the scientists who are going after it, a military crew has also been sent to take it by force, forcing the dueling scientists to team up together against their shared enemy. Turns out the power source can help both of them, so they all win. Yeah, that's how it is. The scientists come up with a cool scientific solution because trust scientists... Then we come up with a new idea. It's called Burying the Debt. And that's where a couple of octogenarians, a word that Devin hates, get a lot of medical debt. And they come up with a plan because they're former thieves to bust into the Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield. I can't remember. There was a specific place to go get it and erase their debt. And then they realize that there's backups and redundancies in cloud technology. So they got to recruit a couple of millennials and a Gen Z to help them out and, and a get boomer. rid of that debt. Oh, yeah, and a boomer. They're, they get a boomer first who doesn't know anything about the cloud. Then they, they work get their way down. They're no, they, they go boomer, down. Gen Z, realize they went too far, and then they too have to far. go back to the Get up to the millennium. And then Gen X is ignored as always. As always. Because <laughs> they don't exist. 
And then we had what Zach claims is our horror movie, The Darkness in the Forest, which is about a family who is on a migration with their tribe and are left behind in the forest that is inhabited by the others who apparently are pretty bad but turn out to be quite decent. They bring them in. They start a community. But uh uh-oh, the original tribe is back, and they mean business. So they take them down, the others, and uh, they win. And the good guys win. That's not what happened in that movie. (laughs) It's a really long epic. It's like three hours long. (laughs) It's three hours long. The father and son go to the city to save the son's wife, and the father dies by a huge rock fight. (laughs) Yep, mm-hmm. and then yeah, the son. Happens. But then they come back the in the leader. forest, and they got to take him down. Yeah, they kills the leader of the tribe, and then they eventually go back to the others to form a better society that actually. Yeah, but remember they came into the forest and they tried to attack him, and then they yeah. became the darkness in the forest. Yeah, and, and then they the... became the darkness in the forest. Yeah, it's a horror movie, also a three-hour <laughs> epic. Epic, long shots. Ah, we brought you're gonna back see about cinema. Like two minutes of a sunrise, and you're not going to be able to look away. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be great. But then we move down to feel good animation movies. And Devin, what were the great ideas we came up with that this time? We came up with Home Sweet Zoo, Jackson's Hole, The Four Stones, and Space Stop 66. <laughs> Jackson's Hole always gets me. <laughs> So Home Sweet Zoo is about a a group of four zoo animals down in San Diego Zoo. And one of them, the Pagalon, is kidnapped. So his three buddies, a lynx, a reindeer, and a rabbit, escape with the help of a crow. City crow. City crow. City crow. To go get their friend back. And realize that they also need and miss the zoo. They love... They love being taken care of. They've been domesticized. Yeah, they don't know how to hunt. But they win, and they take down those stupid thieving poachers. Poachers. Then we move down to Jackson's Hole. Great name. (laughs) Great name. And that's where Jackson, a jaguar, from Pentalon 18, version of Florida, which also has a bayou, he is a fan boat pilot. But Jackson also likes... To, he's an entrepreneur. And so he gets into debt trying to mine for Bitcoin. He took some money out from the manatees. Then he d- loses the money on the jackrabbit races to the crocodiles. And then he goes on a deep underwater uh, treasure hunt adventure to get the money to pay them back. Gets double crossed by the dolphins. Gets the manatee to help him with the dolphins. Goes to the crocodiles. Pays off everybody. Everybody's cool with it until they have to take down one crocodile who's trying to rise up and take out the flamingo boss. And then they kill him, and then they bury him in the Everglades, and then Jackson's back into fan boats. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do the third one, because I'm going to let Devin do his original idea, because that's not a art, created by Architects of Lore, and I'm still a little hurt by that. But here we go. The you third could, one you that... You're going to stop me, but you, knew, you were a little worn out, <laughs> and you just needed that, because you're dealing with your issues. So Mental issues? Just mostly no, like emotional. camera or... Camera, <laughs> it really beat me down. So why don't you tell us the third movie, Zach? That's the Four Stones banger poster. It was great. Came up with it in five minutes. Probably my best work. But that's about a realistic family-friendly movie if you go based on 90s family-friendly movies where two parents are scientists and they're going up the Bitter Wind Mountain to study it. They're going to be gone for a week. It's fine. The kids are left with their aunts and uncles in the society. It's okay. Don't be weird about it, audience. It's okay for the parents to go do their jobs every once in a while. But they're gone for a long time. And the society's like, we can't go after them because it's going to be winter season. And the kids take it into their own hands to go find their parents because they need to go on an adventure. And then they go up the mountain. They find their parents who are actually with the Yeti tribe, intelligent Yetis that are up there, that are safe and secret from the world. And they realize that those Yetis actually saved their parents. And they 
become friends with that tribe, stay there for a while. They learn and love and laugh, and eventually they keep their secret, and they come back down to Bitterwind Mountain. Beautifully told. Beautifully told. Thank you. Ugh. There's going to be Kevin a sequel. Kevin has tears in his eyes. Did you see that, folks? Yeah. <laughs> now we come to the created by Devo City Architects and Lord Developed idea. That is Space Stop 66, where in the hyperlanes, there is a, a spaceship gas station run by the Power family. You have the dad, Max Power, his wife, Anita Power, and their two daughters, Roxy and Gemma Powers. So, did you take notes? No, I just <laughs> love this idea, baby. <laughs> Uh, I cre- so I created uh, it. <laughs> so after seeing all these uh, ships come out, Roxy has a lust for adventure, and she decides to hitchhike on one of these ships. But her sister's not going to let her go alone, so she tags along as well. Out in the galaxy, they run into fun adventures at first but then there's a little bit of a darker side they get in a little bit of a trouble there's this guy who's like uh he's a cap he's more than a commodore captain. commodore in this the space navy mm-hmm. but spoiler he's also a space pirate who has been troubling people that have been coming into their gas he's station. double dipping he's playing both yeah. sides so he always comes out on top so they run away. They meet a lovable street rat named Haru. And um, Roxy. And his loath cat her named family Vesper. Back. Come on. She brings the universe back to her home. And Gemma brings her home to the universe. Because she decides she needs to go spread some uh, some love and joy. Well, they get back to their home. Because the parents go looking for them. They, they put the shop with like Uncle Lou. Who's like an alien with multiple tentacles. He's running things real well. Based off Devin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you know, the parents are going after to look for their kids. There they we find go. them. They expose uh, Commodore Gibbons as the space pirate. He's thrown in space jail, I'm assuming. And every, and they're like, oh, we're going to lose so much money on repairs, but we got to do the right things. They all get home, and then Gemma's like, I got to go, you know, and she joins the Galaxy Corps, which is like the Peace Corps for this Pentalon planet. Because <laughs> this all takes on Pentalons all in the Nostros universe. Of course. Beautifully all of these. told. Beautifully told, Devin. Beautifully told. So what I want to do here, those are all great ideas. Great there's ideas. No, there's and no Roman 3000. movie posters. Make sure you go check out those movie posters. We will post those on Instagram. We will? We've we got to do that. Yeah, I mean, we should. We can yeah, do it all great. at once, too. We don't even have to spread it out. Just, like, we just should. Them. Season 5, we'll post the posters as they come out. <laughs> We gotta like write some things down, like tasks that need like. Uh, again, you remember how we talked about this last band. week? We need a boss. So if there's yeah. a boss out there, yeah. who wants to join up. So let's go and and pick our favorites from each individual study, and at the end, pick our overall favorites. Okay, let's start Sound with good? Uh, feel good comedies. All right, so we got Coachella at forty, Blimp RV, Cross Country with My Cousin, and Tokyo Jam. What are your I mean, thoughts? There's, there's one clear winner. Coachella at 40, just because yeah. of that it's movie just... poster? Coachella at 40, objectively, is a hilarious movie. So, I do like buddy comedies, which is why like Cross Country with My Cousin and Tokyo Jam really fucking speak to me. And Blimp RV, just like, I want to see a blimp connected to RV. I mean, these are, this is a really tough choice for me. So you're the going blimp with blimp RV Coachella probably deserves more to be in the animation section because that's far we easier to do be like animated. An thing. Yeah. But Coachella at forty, budget, Devin. Just know. think what about this. Gonna... Architects and lawyers hit it big. We're famous. Everybody's calling for ideas. And then in three and a half more years, your boy over here starting in a movie called Coachella at forty, and I'm playing Jack. <laughs> Or just go in three and a half years. Um, 
I will Don't pick how cross country with my cousin as my favorite. Fair enough. I think they're all good ideas. I do. I, 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 have, a, I have a special place in my heart. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. All right. So next action adventure, the Amber Room, power source bearing the debt and the darkness in the forest. What do you well, think? I went, I went first last time, Devin, so please go ahead. Well, I do love a good um, treasure hunt, so I'm drawn to the Amber Room. Not bad. A, a, like, a, bearing the debt seems almost more of like a comedy. with like It older, does. I, I don't know. Yeah. I was kind of chuckling when we were talking about it because I forgot yeah. the whole, the whole, oh, sh- we need to get, we need to get a boomer. We need to get a young yeah. person in here. Yeah. And then they get a 60 year old boomer. And they're like, oh, no, we need a really young person. We've gone too far. They're talking about TikToks. <laughs> yeah. I think the darkness in the forest has like apocalypto vibes. I'm sure we would make it fantastic, but I don't know if I'm watching a three hour epic time and time again. So I'm probably going to go with the Amber Room. Okay, I like it. Those are strong choices. What I'm thinking here, though, is I'm thinking the darkness in the forest. I'm thinking long. Not power shot. source. You're not like in the like space. So you just said trust scientists. Or, or, you know, trust scientists. I like uh, power source. I think we do need to change the name. <laughs> but I'm just looking for a thumbnail. <laughs> I know I said trust scientists, but what I'm really going to trust is a three-hour epic of rock versus others. Because remember, Devin, we left out this part. The tribe of the others, they're called the meanies. That's just yeah. an objectively funny name. <laughs> no, but also I'm thinking that we actually we pitch the darkness in the forest as a three-hour like, epic. It should be like they were the paper. You know, that would have worked. And then they'd yeah, be the worked. rock. Okay. Well, listen, and then there's, the there's scissors editing. have been, like, you know, wiped out or something. I don't there's know. A, there's editing, <laughs> Devin. Yeah. We pitched this as a three-hour epic, and every, all studios are like, we can't, you know. No one's doing Lawrence of Arabia anymore. And then we go, but what if we do an eight-hour miniseries? And they're like, sold! <laughs> sold! I just got us on Hulu, baby. <laughs> Boom. Amazon Prime. Netflix. We'll take any. Max? Anything. <laughs> Crunchy roll. So then we moved uh, to... Wait, so is that... So you're going with Darkness before us. So I got Amber Room. The yeah. Amber Room. All right. Then we got Animated, Home Sweet Zoo, Jackson's Hole, The Four Stones, and Space Stop 66. It's hard not to pick Jackson's Hole just because of the name. I mean, I am going <laughs> to pick Jackson's Hole, but go on. <laughs> but I, you know, I got a soft spot for Space Lab 66, created by Devo City, developed with the of help course. of the Architects of War. Who could have, who could have predicted that Devin was going to go with Space Lab 66? Who could have predicted? Who could have predicted that? I do think that that's actually a really good idea. I like the movie. I like how we developed it better. Ah, yes. So yes, now yes. it's a better. Well, it was a TV show idea at first. So. Yeah, it's a better idea now because it was developed by Architects uh, of Lore. I actually, I really liked Home Sweet Zoo. I just like, I just like the whole idea about animal friendship. You know, then animals thrown into a position where they don't know what they're doing, but then they're kind of like humans. So then they're solving problems like humans. Like, hey, you can just see a lynx with his little claw, like picking a lock to try to get in there. But he's not a thief. He's not a thief, but he's just trying to get his friend back. And I really actually liked, um, I mean, I obviously like Jackson's Hole. And I love the Four Stones. I think it's the second best poster because I have to give it to you. When I saw Space Top 66 on this last episode, I was like, damn, that's a good poster. <laughs> it was. It was a good poster. Um, <clears throat> Four yeah. Stones was the second best poster we had on this. this yeah. uh, How many posters did you make this season? I made the Amber Room. I oh, made, you did? Yeah, I made the Amber Room. Oh, then three. I made uh, the Four Stones, and I made Cross Country with my cousin. Yeah. So three. You're right. I did. And all of mine, folks, what I want you to do, because we're going to post these. I Vote always for leave... what your favorite poster is, regardless of the movie. Yeah, that's fine. Vote for your favorite poster. Yes, of course. We'll push that. Now, always check it out because I'm always leaving secret messages for you in there. Just look at the writing on the posters. Just see what I leave in there. If you look closely at Space Top 66, there might be some secret messages right. in there. All right. But I'm going to go with Jackson's Hole, obviously. 
love that movie. I just want to see uh, Straw Hat Jaguar with the, uh, what are we calling him? Tank top. Ooh, the white tank top. But like, just being like a nice person and just gets himself in over his head. And then we got crime syndicate families, crocodiles, manatees, dolphins. It is Help very scuba fun. scuba suits. We got a black it's bear named fun. Barry who's his best friend. It's a fun movie. But now we got to go overall. All right, so hold on. For your favorites, we got Coachella at 40, mm-hmm. The Darkness in the Forest, mm-hmm. and Jackson's Hole. Yep. For my favorites, we have Cross Country with My Cousin, mm-hmm. The Amber Room, and Space Top 66. So, Zach, what is your favorite season four Architects of Lore original idea? Well, Devin. I was going to leave it in suspense. But it's Coachella at 40. <laughs> All mean, right. We came in hot. We came in with the best idea, in my opinion. And then we kept the quality up. There was no Roman 3000s in this season, people. All 12 of these ideas I thought were good. As you can tell, we picked three different each. We had six and of them. And you don't even yeah. have recency bias. That was the I first that movie the first we came up with. Coachella at 40, people. We're getting it made. Your boy's going to be a movie star. All right. <laughs> now you can ask me my favorite. But Devin, what is your season four Architects of Lore favorite original movie idea that's not Space Lab 66? <laughs> it is Blimp RV. Oh, wow. Yeah. I really thought you were going Space Lab 66. It is. I mean, obviously, my heart. And I don't want to have recency bias. And it's a great idea. Maybe a great animated TV show. Who knows? But, like, originally what it was planned to be. But. There's a lot RV. of adventures that could happen just at the just at the space yeah, gas yeah, station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of adventures. Yeah, a lot of. A lot of every, uh, you got a, every week a wacky character coming in. So much rule, room for uh, voiceover cameos. We know? could do 12 seasons. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Um. So Blimp RV just is fun, and I want to make a realistic, working Blimp RV. It has always been a dream of mine to be in a blimp. It is on my bucket list to ride in a blimp. And if we make this movie and I can make that happen, I'm in. Okay. I think logistically, all you have to do is connect a blimp and an RV. Like it I think logistically, all you have to do is that the blimps have, like, like a boat-like thing. Yeah, that is the structure that people actually ride in. You just put yeah. wheels on that and call it an RV. <laughs> so no, I want, I want. <laughs> you want like, like a Winnebago attached? A Winnebago. To <laughs> okay. And we just like <laughs> cut off that boat part, run yeah. the wires into it, have into a the flip, Winnebago. So like, you know, yeah. you know how we they have in... like car boats? It's yeah. just a blimp RV, like. It'd be sick. It'd be sick. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. My favorite season four Architects Lore original idea, Coachella at 40. Devin's And favorite. my favorite, Blimp RV. Make sure to cast your vote for your favorites when we throw up the movie posters. Or just vote on which movie poster you like the best. That's fine. Movie poster and idea. Two separate votes. You're going to make it we'll very complicated. It there will be a flowchart <laughs> attachment to this episode. <laughs> but, Devin, now's the time that everyone wants to know. Because they're going to jump in now. Say they were like, hey, I missed a couple episodes. I want to jump in. Now we're getting into season five. You know? What? Well, before we do that, we got to give some feedback to the Lorcatechs because they have reached out to us. Again? And to acknowledge <laughs> them. Yes. You get used to this. We are getting feedback. I people just are want commenting to say, on our post, and you don't respond to them. <laughs> no, I do not. Absolutely not. You should. That is. I liked part of one person's. One person said the right answer, and I liked it. That was like weeks ago. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, seven days ago, we got a Nate Stevens email with a 114-day update and another, another Titleist um, More to Prove video. So it is now a Where does he keep getting days. these Titleist commercials? <laughs> I don't know how he has so money. And he also said that his partner might bail. So Michael Grossett might be moving up. Okay. Michael, loyal listener to the Architects of Lore. Now you know. And six hours ago, right in the window, 
Six Pass. hours. Wow. Cross it. Okay. That could As be multiple us. people in our family. S cross it. Could be multiple people. I think you'll catch on to who okay. it is. All right. Americans is the <laughs> is the subject. I applaud that you guys agree with me that we are Americans. Yeah. Yes, after three hundred years of heritage is American. Our heritage is American. If you were born and raised in the USA, you are American. I've been saying it for years, and my father would get so mad at me, lol. I'm still miffed that Shrek hasn't moved up, but I will raise your four, your rating to four stars. Oh, here we That's go! Four yeah, star so fan. now it's probably going to be five since we did move up Leap Year and Shrek, so I, I, I want to hear the feedback true. next week. That's true. I want those five stars. I want those five yeah. stars. Side. All right, well, thank you for the listener feedback. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or you just want to say hi, email us at architectsandlore@gmail.com. All right. You can also hit us up at Arc of Lore on X, Architects of Lore on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Give this a like. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a, I don't know. Make sure to hit that notification free. bell. And yeah. if you haven't seen... We are doing YouTube shorts. They're oh, yeah, based, check those out, too. Those, those are pretty cool. Um, check them out. Check them out. Maybe go subscribe over on YouTube. So, end to season four. Here comes season five. God damn it. I just thought of an amazing name for this next season. Well, I have put this into the universe. I have willed this. I have thought about it. And at first, I thought, oh, I, I got to pick three or four of these movies? It's going to be impossible. And I, I brought the idea up to Zach, and he goes, fuck it, let's do it all. So for season five, we are diving into my favorite franchise, Fast and Furious, baby. It's all about family. We're starting with the OG Fast and Furious. So, okay, the, the, are we watching in release order or chronological order? Good question, Zach. And I have one question for you. What is your Fast and Furious knowledge, your history? How, how do you feel I've about seen it? probably like maybe three or four of these movies sporadically. I definitely know I saw the first one. I definitely know mm -hmm. I saw Tokyo Drift. I think I saw at some point like five or six Okay. And I think that's about it. Maybe seven. What's the one where it's Paul Walker's last one? I think it's I think Furious seven. seven, right? Yeah, I, th I think yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. So we will be doing chronological because I want you to get the story front to back. I'm okay, gonna you're going to have to tell me what chronological means. So, so, so it's not release order. It is no. story order. I know we got chronological the Fast and the, the Furious, means. 2001. Okay. Oh, oh. Then we got Too Fast, Too Furious. Too Fast, And we're going to skip Tokyo Drift and go to Fast and Furious. Okay. Then we got Fast Five, yep. Fast and Furious Six. Mm -hmm. The Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift makes its return. Okay, after six. Furious Seven, okay. The Fate of the Furious. Okay. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Mm -hmm. Fast Nine, The Fast Saga, and... The most recent Fast X. Okay. So we got 11 films coming up in season five, which is colloquially named Architects of Lore Fast Five. <laughs> I think Devin planned it out where he calls me. I always have a pre-show nap. He calls me three minutes before my nap is about to expire. And so I'm Sorry, I had a pre-show meeting. A little groggy. And he's like, what do we just do all the... He's like, what are we doing next next season? Fast and Furious? And at that point, I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> I literally that's threw it up. Bad. And I'm not even joking. Because I was like, oh, oh if we go... Because like another idea, we were doing franchise movies. Every every month would be a different franchise. You know, and, well, that's hard. Because like not a lot of franchises only have four movies. So I was like, do you just pick four of your favorite movies from the franchise? And I'm like, how do I pick my favorite four from the 11? And this way, I don't have to. We get to watch them all. I am it's stoked. A, it's all about family, baby. So for next week's episode, please, everybody... 
again, I can't stress this enough. You don't have to watch the movie to listen to next week's episode. We're funny. You've already that. seen this one, but if you want to relive it, because you know it's about family and racing. Go watch Fast and the Fast and the Furious, which is the most realistic one. I think that's what they're trying to get back to at eleven. So, all right. Well, there you go, folks. Next week, the Fast and the Furious. We're going into season five. Architects of Lore, Fast Five, the Fast and the Furious franchise. Devin, thank you so much for joining me, audience. Thank you so much for listening. And just remember. If you write us long enough, we will move your favorite movie up on the lower <laughs> list. Also, if you got a story in your head, but you can't seem to get it out. Do it. Just do it. Because if it sucks, who cares? You can probably make ten other movies as long as you make money in China. That's what I've been for. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye. love how you uh, decide to just put words over my face. <laughs> when? You did it today. You just you yeah. do it all the time. You just put words right over my face. Well, because like Mike top, Wazowski. <laughs> that's because the top half is the one that people gravitate towards. And this clip, I'm the one talking. You're not talking. So we I know. I just did like a face. sideways over my face. It was almost like, ignore this. X out. You know? It was. And I stand by it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I, you know, I didn't bleep your other swears last episode because they weren't. I wasn't going to bring it up. They were intentional. Not all of them. You said bleep only the ones that are accidental. And then the second one that I said was definitely accidental. No, you You just forgot. You, you just no, forgot. I did it. I purposely did. It. How would I forget if I did a counter? I could have easily put a bleep in. I did the counter next to him. That was a choice. Okay. Okay. I did like the counter. Thank you. That was nice. I really, I mean, at the end of the episode, I legitimately didn't know how much I swore. I watched that whole episode going like. I thought it was a lot getting, closer. It's getting, I was like, it's getting pretty late getting pretty late no i think i'm good i think i'm good and then right at the end i just say and then you just put up a five and i'm like yes i thought you were gonna jump in i thought it's so much better when we do it individually because we never time it correctly so (laughs) it just like and we're not doing like a round it's not like moving and then you come moving move like you know, if we did a round, maybe it would work. But it's right, just... you want to try it? Let's try a round. Let's try a you round. Try a round? I'll come All in right, second. You, I'll come in second. Come in second. I don't know I'll if you have the second. timing for a second, but I got the time. Right? All right. Now it's time for everybody's second favorite, maybe first favorite part of this episode. <laughs> you and that's do that the... part too. <laughs> of course, because you know I need the whole clip. Shut uh, the fuck okay. up. Let's go. See, you made me swear. You made me swear. I didn't say nothing. The movie, movie. The movie, game. movie, game. Movie, movie, game. What? You didn't finish oh, did, the were round. We rounded, are we rounding the second part? No, we didn't do the, the movie, game. Movie. I did the game. No, you didn't. Yes, I you did. You did the second part. Is it the movie, movie, game? Movie, movie, game. That's yeah, I didn't do the second part. I didn't know we were supposed to do the round. Right, do let's the do it one part. more time. Let's do All it from right. the top. <laughs> The movie, movie. The movie, movie. That's where you're coming in too late. I don't think you can. Uh, all right. You when do you first. Want me to I'll in? do second. I'll do second. When do you I don't want think to you got five. the timing for it. Fine, 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 fine. Now it's time for everybody's second favorite, maybe first favorite part of this episode. And that's the movie, movie. The movie, game. movie, game. Movie, movie, game. Movie, movie, game. Now you came in the same exact time I did. The All right. same exact. Time. All right, we can't do it. Let's just clearly do not. it individually. Whoever does the movie, movie part, the other person does the other part. So we'll all leave right, it. You're up. gonna leave all this in, right? So Zach, what is your season four Architects of Lore original idea favorite? 
or what is your season four? What is your favorite? So, you want to get a clean one? <laughs> favorite. Do it again. What is I your favorite? 